many instances of confusing cells with intricate attacking lines that leave them open to simple counter-attacks, a little bit like what's just kind of occurring at the minute. But um, I've not focused on this, we're just doing an introduction. And also they've got jumbled strategies and planning and you can see it's more obvious. It's, it's, it looks like they've got a plan and then they'll change the mind straight away. White gets a checkmate here. Um, and it causes them to do erratic moves, a bit like what was displayed in this game here. Sometimes it works, but mostly they fall flat from mid to end game, which happened in this particular game. So I've got them on watch. So in the meantime, we can just have a quick look at this game, which happened while we we're going through the narration and the introduction. So they opened as black and the opponent pushed down with a pawn onto the knight. They moved back and they've grabbed with the rook. Rooks come back dancing. So they're not really developing their pieces. As we said, single type attacks. They're just starting to work their pieces together in real terms. Little single attacks here. Oh, and now they've got a bit of a queen and the bishop working together. Knights come out now, so they're feeling that they're working as a team. But the queen comes and looks like it's got some sort of plan. The plan, pro probably thinking, well, I'm going to get my bishop out here to attack this pawn here. Once this knight goes out the way, maybe out. Maybe they were also thinking that the bishop is actually on this line here. And maybe that the que they think the queen is here and it's attacking this pawn. These things can happen, especially when you're playing really quickly. But it is a 10 minute game with zero increments so there's plenty of time so yes they had visions of some type of attack towards the king area which is evident here but as the descriptor shows for the 1100 they didn't display anything that was related to 1500 in this um, game they're actually hitting the queen they do win a bit of tempo but they get the tempo back by putting a check on the king and at that point there, then moving the king again because they've been doubly checked. And the game is over. See if they're actually playing. And you see, they have. So it doesn't actually automatically twist over. So we've missed a bit of this game. They're playing as black again. And let's see. Starting to work the pieces together as a team a little bit here, okay, and that falls in line with what we've discussed at this moment in time. But as we can see, the back end coming through from the transition from the mid to the end game um, is starting to hurt them a bit. So this looks like a proper genuine 1100 standard that you would expect to see. Um, not the ones that we've been seeing more more often than not when we're doing our seeks. They display a, a lot higher performance level. So I'm really quite pleased that this player is, is on here. I don't know them. I've just selected them at random. I was hoping that they were going to play like a proper 1100, which they are doing. And they're displaying all these traits that we're talking about for the 1100. So now the king is getting a little bit squished at the moment. It's not saying that white is winning. I know the gauge bar is showing that, but white has got to um, make it materialize, which it looks like they could be doing. The knights put the check on the king. And the queen is the only one that can take the knight. Or the king moves. And then looks like there's sacrifices going off all over the place. So this 1100 that they're playing against has played like a 1500 if not higher with the way they've stung the opponent there right and they're playing as black again wow they're going to be feeling it's a bit unfair okay so we're watching them again um in terms of the standard of play for 1100 so a bit slow out of the gates probably looking to defend and then get castled So I feel a bit for them. They're playing a 985, so maybe they're thinking now it's our turn to start taking advantage. But they may go a little bit crazy now. 
and overextend and try and see some intricate attacking line. So they've gone through, they've got the bishop here attacking the bishop, that looks nice and then obviously this is going to hurt white now because he's losing a piece. He's not making the move, yep, okay, so he's losing the bishop, so they'll be feeling really good now, so the 900 is definitely playing like a 900, which is good, this is what you want to see, you want to see players playing how you would expect them to play, granted you're going to get some superstars who are flying through the ranks, as we know, yep, but really they should be the lesser amount of people, the generalisation fits the majority of people that play at that level but it's not over yet and black could still make some egregious mistakes by jumbling up their strategies and planning so now they've brought the rook through he's looking to x-ray through to the queen the bishop is protected so now he's attacking the queen it's looking very nice now he's form working his pe well trying to work the pieces together which looks really nice feels very comfortable the knight is under attack but he's going to be getting one of the rooks if they jump in here might be panicking about this thinking that the queen is attacking so what they've done is to me not the best thing actually but the gauge bar I mean the gauge bars there it's showing black is still okay but in my head I'm thinking I don't think that was the best move but maybe it was maybe taking the pawn here was the wrong one because he's attacking two rooks maybe there's a weakness that I've not identified so the 900 is playing like a 900 good they're basically we don't even have a, a write up for 900 do we? we we just started at like um 1100 i think or no 10 or 1000 let me just check all right so they won't buy check maybe no the write-ups just starts at a um, thousand it's basically where they're just learning how to move the pieces let's go in and watch i think we'll be too late on this one again okay it's just starting out He's got white this time. Okay, right, let's go. So at this moment in time, as we've mentioned, it's about them learning about starting to work their pieces together in a sense. I'm expecting with white, this is going to be more evident in terms of instances of confusing themselves with intricate attacking lines, which leaves them open for simple counter-attacks. They are playing a 1200, but again, it's not about it's not about the rating they're playing against. I'm just looking at the rating that they've currently got and the standards of behaviour that we would more or less expect to see. And I'm really happy that they're playing like at 1100. Okay, so now this is time for looking for this transition to the mid through to the end game, and this probably will kind of fall flat in terms of working the pieces together they may be surprising us and shocking us but they are genuinely looking like they have just started l working their pieces together trying to find those better positions but really they're kind of a single attack type players with single pieces all right so He's put a bit of pressure on the knight. Knight's gone back and got protection. Now I think they'll be eyeing up. How do we get to this somehow? How do we get this bishop here? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Because that's how an 1100 thinks in real terms. You know, it's um, how can I squish them now then? I must have a fantastic idea of getting into there. So do I get my bishop here yet? Yeah, no, the knight's here. So I'm going to have to get this knight away and obviously the knight's going to come here but they'll be blindsided just the fact that i'm getting across i'm getting across there somehow so touching the knight just to see what it wants to do yep and obviously the knight goes back 
and then he doesn't really want to take but he's going to think oh the pawn's going to take but the queen will take got sights here but how does he get his pieces across to them might even go and attack the rook just to say look i'm in the game but they're smaller pieces attacking so now they'll be thinking oh i'm quits in here going to be heading heading towards the king but it's not a good attack it's facing the king but it's not doing anything really and now they're going to jump here thinking yes i've got the checkmate type thing my plan is working oh it's not done that okay fair enough they've given up on that maybe for a baby exchange here no not doing that right so in the position i'm sure they'll be thinking they're doing okay so he's going to support the pawn but it's kind of squished at this moment in time so they're probably thinking that can i get this exchange once this knight moves if it does move i'm going to hit this rook no he's not doing that he's putting pressure on the queen and will they ever see that and just try and get the bishop in here or something Not that that's any good, but obviously they're suffering from a squish state at the minute. Queen's probably coming here now to attack the pawn. King's looking a little bit airy. But they're holding their own. If you don't see the gauge bar, you'd be you know thinking, well, it looks pretty even. They're plus two, so what do they have? Is it two pawns extra? Is he going with the rook? Okay, probably looking to bring the rook up and hit the queen. But this pawn is a little bit flimsy. Ooh. Okay, probably looking to try and get it off the board now. In the queen rooks have no place in the center of the board unless of course it's to your benefits and black can now afford to trade down and again they'll be probably thinking now how do i get this rook across here and just hit this pawn yep but it's got two passes as black has to contend with them so maybe the block with the bishop and then the bishop's managing these squares and then thinking about oh I'm going to hit this pawn but it's a waste of an attack because it's simply defended nothing worse than seeing that in games where you know the rush to go for this and then all, all they do is just do that and then your rook's in the middle of the board you have to re reroute it there's no real point in doing that Although in some computer evaluations, it just goes for those simple moves. You know, what if they don't push the pawn? You know, so it's that what if factor. So there's pluses and minuses to doing those types of attacks, even though they are simply defended. But as I've said, it's like when I've looked at evaluation of some of my games, they do the simplest of moves and you think, well, it's going to get defended. Why are you doing that? But Again, you get to win a bit of tempo. Now look at the tail of the tape here. Only because this is um, changed. And they've actually seen it as well. They've actually seen it. Wow. Look at this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. 
Oh my gosh. And we were just saying, oh, they're going to be focusing on that, what, doubling the rooks and stuff like that. And it actually worked for them. All because they moved the knight, they shouldn't have moved the knight. Oh, that's brilliant. That is really good. And that's, that's not like um, 1500 level. You know, they played 1100 all the way up until that point. And they did have a focal point on that pawn, as we mentioned. And because this person, the opponent moved their knight, that gave them the gateway to actually explode and take that opportunity. Oh, that's really good. Yeah, I'm impressed with that. So where are we at now? We need to go on the watch. Quick, quick, quick. Wow, these are starting quickly for 10-0 games. Usually you have to wait ages. Right, so they're playing as white. And they're playing a 1260. It goes to show, I mean, that one was a 1200. They were playing, weren't it? And they shocked them sometimes it works you know their jumble strategies and planning but basically it was the opponent that gave them that opportunity which is usually most of the time in any chess game the opponent gives you that opportunity but it's whether or not you actually see it that's the key thing right teamwork here so starting like we said to utilize teamwork they're probably not the best at teamwork, but they understand that, oh, maybe moving my pieces together might help us. But then they revert back to single single attacks. And as we've seen in the previous game, just gone, and they have an idea as to how to finish the game with some strategies and planning. But sometimes it can be a bit erratic with the moves, which may what make them fall flat on the face as what's happening here. Yep. Like we said, that teamwork aspect, it was, yep, okay, let's work them together, but then it has a single piece application type thing. It's not really looking at the position on the board where it's landing when it's working with the team. They're happy just taking pieces off the board, but not realizing the impact of those captures and movements. That happens to everybody in, in chess, but in the 1100s, it's more glaringly obvious. Yep. When you see an 1100, that's not doing these types of things and not showing any weaknesses and there's strengths all over the place. Um, you have to look at it realistically and say, oh, this is not the expected norm. This is a bit of an anomaly. Okay, so the fighting back. And probably I don't want to get rid of this gauge bar, but I can't. Oh, can I? I can't counter. Oh, there we go. Yeah. So I don't want to see the gauge bar. I want to just see it as a human. And yeah. I didn't realize I could do that. Yeah. I thought that was just for when we do our own analysis. Right. All right. So now the queen's coming. It's attacking a pawn. It's going to put a check on the king here. So it's squishing the king a little bit. They could move the rook, their yeah, king, still going to take a bit of damage, but not as much. But then he's going to have a two on one with the queen, with the rook. So they have moved the king, which is, it makes sense. He takes, queen is protecting at the moment, but he's probably going to be doubling the rooks on that single pawn. No, they're not doing that. But the pawn can't take because the queen has the x-ray through. So ooh, it's going to be a bit sticky for them. So they, they are losing this pawn. I think the rook is going to take because it's on the queen. And it's also on the pawn. Which is obvious. It looks obvious to me. Yep. And maybe the rook comes now to balance that out a little bit. But then the rook takes with a check on the king. So it's on a bit of a... Ooh, okay. So he's defending. Queen probably puts a check on the king, squishing it a bit more, stopping the rook from coming in. Which is re really annoying. Yeah, exactly. So he's getting suffocated again. And I think it's more a case for this player in... They started working the pieces together, so that's fine. That, that's working okay for them at this level. Um, 
Many instances of confusing cells with intricate attacking lines, but they leave themselves open to synchro. That is occurring, definitely. And jumbled strategies and planning causes erratic moves, which sometimes work, but mostly fall flat from the mid to end game. And that is really applying in this game as well, which is good. Yeah. And if we're touching on to the 1500, like we're saying most of the 1100s are playing at a 1500 level, we'll start to understand that tactics work best from good positions and end well from good positions. I'm only going off of that last game, the game where he basically saw that opportunity to take that pawn, gain advantage and basically get like a lovely checking, checkmate pattern type thing. So I thought that was really good. <clears throat> so they have moments of being able to see that, but it's very, very rare. I do think it's a good exercise to really look at what you would expect to go into any type of arena, any type of <clears throat> any type of battle, because you can prepare for it then, can't you? And you can feel a little bit better about the results depending on how the opponent has performed and how you've performed against their performance level, their actual performance level, not the number that's at the side of them. So you can ascertain within your own assessment criteria while you're playing, okay, this person's playing like a X, Y, and Z level. All right, so I can do this. Oh, no, they're playing like this level, so I can do this. So you will chop and change your responses based on what the opponent is actually delivering in that game, which I think helps to enhance your knowledge and your abilities. And what you don't want to do is you don't want to bring out your super best movements too early, do you? You know, because you don't know what level you're playing at. Yeah, um, you have to gauge, are they actually... A lot better than 1100 based off of the early movements that you're making and their response then will dictate how then you bump up your level or you maintain a nice steady state level yeah and it's not overconfidence it's about about you don't send out your best artillery until it's needed I think that's what I'm trying to say if you send out your best artillery it might just get blasted out of the water and then what have the, what was your, what's your backup then? You don't have any backup. That's what I'm trying to say. You need to be very cagey and careful about how you're developing, progressing your pieces, and based off of your knowledge of your own assessment criteria for the rating levels, you'll then be able to work a good strategy and plan for yourself. To set a trap for a bear, you don't put a mouse trap out. That's kind of what I'm trying to say. But in order to do that trap in the first place, you have to understand the makeup of those animals or the thing you're wanting to capture or, or fight against. You need to understand the makeup. And this is the exercises we're doing now in understanding the rating levels and their performance levels. We'll be doing other exercises as we're going through the rest of the remainder of the year. But for now, we're focusing on what we want to expect from 1100s at this moment in time. So it's a deep, 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 deep dive into the world of 1100 chess play. So it looks like they're probably going for a draw, but 1260 is not going to be hitting a draw. I think they'll be looking to try and get that queen off the board somehow. Well, they've got mated anyway. Oh, so we're in the next game. It's looking a bit frantic at the minute. They're actually winning. Oh, they're playing a 950. So we're, we're expecting them to do well against a 950. Yep, there we go. So, which they have done. They're having a good time, aren't they, in this tournament? Uh, we haven't got a watch. So have they taken a break or is it finished? Oh, we caught it from the start. Right, let's go. Playing as black. 
Yeah, this will be the last one we watch as part of the exercises, analyzing, researching. This is the type of stuff I do for the over the board type of thing as well. A little stealth looking and learning. And did it a lot more in the past, you know, when we were out into all the tournaments and you can go and look at different games, analyzing while they're playing the games and you just get a good feel for what what is expected. Also looking at the enjoyment of the game as well, just to say, well, you know, I just like watching chess. So they're playing the 1260, so we've seen the results of them playing the 1200s and the 1200s seem to take them to task. Now they're going for a nice basic steady opening. I do like this opening for black. With, ooh. I like the attack on the bishop type thing, but I think you hold back on that a little bit because this poor white square bishop now is not really in the game. So it's that single attack thing that we're talking about, you know, it's they're trying to starting to work the pieces together as a team, but they prefer to go and do a single attack type thing. Now this has not really improved their position at all. It's really quite hemmed in. I think it's gonna be difficult for them to get out of this position. So they're starting, they're attacking a piece, which is good, and just opening up. Just go for this bishop, I like this, you know what I mean? Just get rid of it, or else it's going to be holding court, and they're going to take advantage of it. Attacking the queen, which is good, but, you know, the knight can take. But if they're not familiar with that position here, this bishop is going to be deadly. I think they need to get this bishop out. Come on, come on, you can do it. Just bring this bishop out, and then it gives you a bit of power base then to own this file with the rooks. Come on, come on, come on, you can do it. You can do it. I'm manifesting it. Oh, I, I just vision, you know, I said he's go in my head, he's gonna go there. You know, but I wanted them to come here. Probably looking to hit the bishop with the pawn like this, but... Giving them quite a bit of tempo in terms of leaning on the king area. If this drops here... Oh, yay, 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 yay. And... What did we say? This is just going to be a, a monster. Now they're going to come around the side with the rooks. Blam. Blam. Oh, and they've made a mistake because the queen has landed on the bishop. Oh, <laughs> no. That's 1100. Right there. Oh, that's 1100. Beautiful. So that's the last one in the looking at the 1100 ref referencing the descriptors regarding the performance levels.